silences are good against all the freeze effects, but there's just so much removal. I don't really like playing against mage, it's so random. It's not very fun, it just seems like... It doesn't really matter what you do, you just kind of hope that... the RNG goes your way. I'm going to try to play around Flame Ward. Well, let me test around for what it is first. It's Ice Barrier. Still got a board. Unsleeping Soul would actually be really valuable right now. It would be nice to cycle with the Powered Shield, but I think that's more important. Because I'm going to want that for either the Arcane Watcher or the Mortuary Machine. really know what that's about. Hmm. I'll take another one. Alright, that's probably it for him right now. That is what I was expecting, so I'm okay with that. Can heal him back up to make him use removal to kill, kill it. I've got Unsleeping Soul set up for next turn on the Arcane Watcher. And then maybe a Thought Steal. Thought Steal first, I guess. Yeah, maybe it'll be Shadow Word Death instead.
Or maybe it will be. Well, we'll see. Double unsleeping soul doesn't quite kill him. Ah, oh, man. What do I do here? I've got a lot of good options, is really what's going on. Shadow or death, and then I could Holy Nova. I'd, and the alternative would be to, like, unsleeping soul these guys, though. That also seems good. Because they're frozen, but especially this guy. Eh, I think it's better to just clear the board. Maybe I don't need to use the Shadow or Death, though. Okay. I'll give him the health back. Save the death. Not sure if that was the right call or not. The other option would have been just to play the Shadow or Death and then probably just pass and keep the coin around for next turn. Because then next turn I could, for instance, Mortuary Machine, Coin, Unsleeping Soul, which would be a good setup for a finisher. And right now I have to play like a mortuary machine unsilenced next turn maybe. But this is a really threatening board. And there are probably more death targets coming. More freezing. Tempting to unsleeping soul there. But I think I won't. I think I'll save that as like the finishing move that I might be able to do next turn. So instead, let's see what's on the other side of the thought steal. <laughs> okay, I got lots of card draw, but I'm gonna play the mortuary machine. And then go face. The hope is that he can't deal with all of this without relying on freeze and then in particular, freezing the mortuary machine is kind of what I'm hoping. Well, anyway, I'm hoping you can't deal with all this without relying on freeze, and then I can just unsleeping soul something to activate it. Arcane intellect is not the worst thing to get off of that thought steal, in case I need this game to go along. He's getting ready to poof me. He needs. He needed to make it one more turn. Did he rage quit? No, he's still there. Uh, I think you took way too long if this was your plan. Yeah, he had to rely on freeze. Freeze doesn't work as well against Silence, Priest. Sorry, Internet's not behaving nicely right now. Not sure what's up. It's 7 o'clock here in New York, so everybody's celebrating the... Uh, um, 
essential workers. So that's what that sound is if you hear it. I think I might hold on to these because coining into Hench Clan and then on Sleeping Solit is pretty good turn three and four. I don't have a turn two, but that's okay. There is a turn two. So far we've been winning all of the unfavored matchups and losing all the favored matchups. Uh, Priest is another unfavored one actually because of well, all their AoE and removal and junk that they can do. But we have a good opening hand, I think. So we might be able to rush him down a little bit. Now he probably realizes I'm a silence priest. Thought steel is presumably not su not very effective against this deck. Um, I think I actually just like playing the faceless rager rather than coining out the shade quill now. It'll be time to get the shade quill down later. I have a lot of silences in my hand, so this silence is probably going on one of his minions. There's a lot of really good silence targets whenever you're playing against priests, like one of their taunts or whatever. Alright, time to start doing some damage. Uh, if you play the silence worthy target, I can Veil Weaver silence on Sleeping Soul next turn, and that that'll be pretty good. Nope. Well, I don't think I want to drop the Veil Weaver that soon then, if he doesn't give me something worth silencing. That's definitely not worth silencing. The fact that he's playing that though probably means that he has a silence of his own that he probably got off of me. I hate it whenever they get the combo of a Watcher and a silence from from me. Oh, wait, now I guess that Renew is also coming from me, so he doesn't currently have a sounds, but he might be able to grab one off of the Renew. I kind of can't have to play as if he doesn't have a way to activate it, though. I can't afford to preemptively kill it. it sucks whenever your opponent is able to pull off your strategy better than you can. I've definitely had that happen to me whenever Priest thought steal all the right cards. I'd probably just play on Sleeping Soul again on a Hunch Clan Shade Call just to get the extra body down. Especially if I were also going to be playing the Veil Weaver. Well, now I might have a Silence. He didn't get an Unsleeping Soul, though, I know that for sure. And actually, there's only two Silences left on my deck because I managed to draw them all early. I can use my aggressive silence there. Yeah, it's better to just actually... do one of these guys, I think. Uh, this coin is not... No, no, there's no reason to do that yet, is there? Maybe. This coin's not going to bring a lot of value, probably, so I'm just going to use it for the heal. Threatening lethal now, although all he has to do is heal with hero power to get out of range. We have a silence for any taunt that he plays an advantage of not using the silence on the faceless death. Two shadow madnesses. So I'm going to play this mortuary machine and I'm not going to bother silencing it. Figuring that I can unsleeping soul it next turn if it's still around. Hola, 
Uder Sergio Sergio um, Damn That's frustrating I've got him low but not I'm probably not going to be able to close this game out Am I? I try to dig a lot with these Veil Weavers. See what happens. I think I like that better than duplicating my minion. Hmm, not the greatest stuff there. But everything's at 3 health, which I think lines up well against his AoE. Plague of Death would clear my board, but this is not actually that big of a board, so some victory in making him spend the Shadow or Death on that. Yeah, I think uh, Geppetto is not like a very important part of this deck. I'm not even sure he is good enough to be in the deck, to be honest. Um, I feel like I never draw him. But the Octosari is pretty powerful in this deck. So that would be the priority if you were to try to get one. I was able to make it to Legend last season without using Octosari, though. So uh, this deck can work without it. Uh, the the Veil Weavers can generate some card draw to make you go a little bit into the late game. But for the most part, you're just aiming to close out the match uh, by, like, turn 8. Anyway. Um, replacements, I mean, you could put another Mortuary Machine and another Dalaran Librarian, probably. Uh, I don't think that's what he meant to do. Yeah, that was a mistake. I don't have the best cards to punish him for it, though, to be honest. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he does, though. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, he clearly should have time-ripped my Veil Weaver and attacked with my Veil Weaver into the Shade Quill. Alright, got a little bit of Wind Streak going. Um, so, how did it go, um, Sergio? I actually like the start hand. Um, eh, not the smite, but... The rest of it. Holy Nova is really critical if they get those early trions down. I said no Holy Smite. Um, and then these are early minions you can play. They're not very threatening though. It's possible that they're not the right keep. Um, or at least not both of them. Mm, just one set that... Yeah, it's, you're starting to get to the point where it's, you're, you're going to have trouble getting enough cards. So you're going to run out of cards really fast. I mean, that's something that this deck already runs into even with the version that I have, but you'll you'll feel it even more. Um, and unfortunately, Priest just isn't isn't given very good draw. And that's part of why we're having to rely on some neutral cards like Octosari and Geppetto for card draw. You can do card generation, which we do some of. We do it with Renew and with um, Veilweaver. But it, they're... Um, you know, not every card is useful to this deck. So something like Thought Steal, where you're just getting random cards from your opponent, often doesn't really help you. There are some of those other cards, though, that are maybe more interesting. There's like the Legendary that lets you discover a card in the opponent's hand. That could be good. Or the cards that let you kind of guess what's in the opponent's deck, maybe it's useful.
Yeah, I'll play this the Veil Weaver early. Force him to have some removal for it. That's not a bad draw, actually. Against Druid. Where you just want to do some damage fast. If he doesn't have the removal for the Veil Weaver, he could be in trouble. Oh, this is a different deck than I was expecting. I might need to Holy Nova that away. It seems dangerous to have all those. I have two Holy Novas too, so there's no point in holding on to it. That Veil Weaver is going to kill him unless he draws into some removal this turn. Uh, I'm going to take the extra card. Psyche splitting the Veil Weaver would be amazing, so I'm just going to take that in the hopes that I can pull that off. More AoE is also always appreciated with that Breath of the Infinite. Holy Ripple is probably not enough to be useful, but with a Holy Nova and a Breath of the Infinite, I'm feeling pretty safe here. solid faceless all right probably so we have lethal I doubt he has a good way to stop me digging or digging couple of taunts. I think I still have him. Ooh, no, I think, yeah, I think I still have him. I can Psyche split this guy. The one that comes out of it has um, Rush, Holy Ripple, which does one face damage, which turns out is pretty important. And then we just go face. Got him. Keep our win streak going. Back to rank one. Three more to legend. Mage, like I said, has been rough, but we managed earlier today, so maybe we can do it again. This is not a very good start hand, though. Tolarian Librarian is really good in this matchup, because you can silence away freezes, if nothing else. But still not very helpful at the beginning. And we don't have anything to play until turn three at the earliest. Well, I can smite that away, which I probably will. Especially since I can homunculus too. So, not that bad after all. Pointing into the Shade Quill is not like super appealing though, actually, because I've got nothing else to follow it up with. I'd have to draw into something else valuable to play. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Yeah, I still coin into the Shade Quill, and then I play the Ancient Watcher next turn and drop the Delarian Librarian to silence both of them. The Librarian's not going to get to deal with the freezes, unfortunately. Ooh, I can silence that guy. I'd like him to die to this homunculus. I think I'd rather that... I could also smite him. Yeah, I think I stick with the plan here and go for tempo. Uh, all right. Never mind. I'll I'll attack there. Just to pushing the four damage is probably not that important right now. I don't know. It's tempting to not have done that because mainly of wanting a psyche split target, which now I mean a four five is a decent target, but the four seven would have been better. Looks like I get to do it, and that Unsleeping Soul will probably still be useful as a way to unlock a Frozen Minion while still keeping tempo. For instance... Gross. Gross. He's got some tough decisions to make here. I hope he freezes the 5-4, because I would be able to unfreeze it. Uh, let's see here. Lots of good stuff to play. So first of all, let's get rid of you. Ooh, Apotheosis is great. We almost have him. We got him! Iron Jesus gave us lethal. Two more. Yeah, wow, we've we've won all the unfavored matchups and lost all the favored matchups in my estimation. This is supposed to be a favored matchup, so we'll see. Holy Nova's so good in this matchup. We've got to keep that, but everything else becomes a bit too expensive. Slightly better, assuming that we will eventually find a way to activate that Arcane Watcher. Looks like Holy Nova might come in handy here. Nah, no reason to drop. Veil Weaver. Uh, 
Let's see here. We're setting up for like Arcane Watcher this turn. Nice, that's a good draw. And then probably Holy Nova next turn. Assuming he doesn't kill the Arcane Watcher, I think I still Holy Nova. I haven't really been seeing Demon Hunter from that minion there. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just go for the Unsleeping Soul. Might die. Yeah, whatever. I'll I'll do a hauling over here. That doesn't matter. be a little worried about my health here. If he bypasses me, I have the second Holy Nova though. I prefer to be in a position where I can start rushing the Demon Hunter down right now. Ooh, it looks like I'm going to get to use my second Holy Nova in a pretty effective way. Ooh, okay. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, it's weird. Do I still want to play it? Not really. With his hand refilled a little bit, there'll probably be other things I need to Holy Nova. So this is a slightly different build. What is this, Highlander? He hasn't played a duplicate of anything yet. This was a gift. What did he get it off of? Full Para Scoundrel. Oh, I see. Interesting. Now, maybe this is just a pretty standard build that just happens to run Full Para Scoundrel. Don't have an activator for that watcher. It's kind of a weak Holy Nova still. I don't think I want to play the... Hmm. Letting myself get a little low here. I didn't quite feel like playing the Mortuary Machine with that big a hand, giving him the Reborns without a way to silence it. Oof, that's no good. Haha, <laughs> no problem, Manson. Alright, well, I have the Holy Nova. And I can heal myself too. And hopefully that's enough to keep me alive. I have some taunt coming up. 
Let's see here. One, so like a glaive bound kills me. And based on his speed there, I'm guessing he has the glaive bound. That sucks. It's pretty unfortunate. No? Okay. Then maybe I can still pull this off somehow. Um, play it safe, but also just drop anything that can do damage in the hopes that I can kill him off next turn. Uh oh. Glaive Bound's not enough anymore, though. What would do it? You already used Metamorphosis. That wouldn't be enough anyway. I think he's in trouble. He needs, like, the charge that lets you ignore Taunt, and then, um, Twin Slice. That would have gotten me. Alright, final boss. I'm curious what my legend rank is this time. I feel like this climb was much faster than my climb from last season, so I'm kind of hoping that my legend rank is a bit stronger. But with the new system, it's really hard to tell. I still haven't really recalibrated my understanding of uh, what it means to play at various, you know, to, to win some number of games. I don't know. I don't know what it means yet. Uh, I think the silence is a preferred way to go over using the librarian, just because it's cheaper. In the early game, that matters more. Later on in the game, you care more about the ability to silence two things. This matchup's a pretty good matchup for this deck, I think. So I'm optimistic. Um, Faceless probably next turn. Then maybe Faces and Silence, too. I'll save the Veilweaver for something that we draw later. Okay, apparently he's surprised to see a Watcher in this deck. This is kind of a fun... I actually really enjoy this matchup. This might be my favorite matchup. It's fairly evenly matched. I think this deck is slightly favored. Um... But there's just like a lot of inter neat interaction on the board. Oh, this might not be what I think it is. Never mind. Um, I haven't run into many of these yet, but this is probably more of a controly type warrior. That's bad, uh, especially since he killed that minion. I really just have to pass this turn. Uh, yeah, I've barely faced any control warriors. This is like the control warrior with the the wrench, right? Yeah. I don't draw very many cards. That's a good thing against Bomb Warrior, right? Um, ugh. Can't get anything to stick, though. There we go. That's something. Hopefully he doesn't have a second one of those. Because he'd get two minions this time. Uh, maybe this is a good time to use the Veil Weaver. Yeah, in fact... I think I'm going to do it this way. Get the extra cards. Hopefully one lives. And I can just keep going for a long time on this. 
What are they? They probably run Brawl as like a board clear. They've got a lot of armor, but I can do a lot of damage if my board keeps going. I mostly just have to be worried about like really heavy AoE. So like Brawl is probably the issue. I don't even know what else they've run. They have that uh, Blade Storm. Blade Storm can be really bad. I can try to play around that. Have varied health. One brawl. Okay. I don't know how much I can afford to play around a brawl though. This deck needs to really play pretty aggressively. I can play around Blade Storm some though. So for instance, like this Apotheosis, I can put on the Veil Weaver rather than on this watcher or something like well there's that brawl i hope i get to keep one of my veil weavers all right i'm okay with that unfortunately now i'm not going to go play around the blade storm so just kind of need to hope it doesn't have the second one of those You got it. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a hard time setting up a board again. You top deck that, right? We've got two Plague of Deaths for some reason. Didn't need that. Ah, uh, I see. Deathwing, Mad Aspect. That's the one that attacks all minions, right? That's uh, sometimes not too bad because we'd run a lot of big minions, but have to draw them. Double shield slam. Well, he's already done both shield slams. He's already done both blade storms, and he's already done brawl. How much removal is really left in this deck? Well, it looks like I've seen all the removal then, right? <laughs> It's a shame that he got all of his removal. Well, Mad Aspect. Ignoring Mad Aspect, but maybe he even has that too. We might find out soon. In the meantime, my hand is almost all removal now. All right, time to go wide again. An intimidating board, if he doesn't have a really strong removal. And even Deathwing is not, I could get unlucky in the order that he attacks, but. Oh, the prime minion. Yeah, the prime minion could be a pain, but I'm not worried about it until I see the first half. He hasn't put any bombs in my deck yet. He's about to. We're pushing 23 damage as of right now per turn. Even with all that armor he has stacked up, we should be able to get through it pretty fast. He also hasn't done any damage yet. We're new. Do I cycle the Renew now? I think I do. I'll take an Unsleeping Soul. That seems pretty good. Hope he doesn't run a second Brawl.
Thanks for all the tips, Anson. I just really, I've seen this deck once, I think, this season. And I don't think it even really existed last season. So he did end up having to play Deathwing. Ah, I got screwed a little bit on the order there. So that's all of the removal that we talked about. He got every single one in the top half of his deck, but still got something on the board. That's a really solid draw, too. Man, I wish we had gotten anything useful off of the instead of these Plague of Deaths and this Breath of the Infinite. Got a lot of really useless cards off of our Veil Weaver earlier. We're t on a two-turn clock for him right now. He's gonna start running out of cards. Do they run Execute? I think I just want to clear things up as much as possible to maximize my chance of having lethal for next turn. I still have a Breath of the Infinite. I don't know if they run taunts. Hey, we got him! Legend! We won like seven games in a row there, I think. All right. Thanks for coaching me, Anson. And yeah, this is definitely the, the best legend rank I've gotten with this deck so far. Not bad. Um, thanks, Anson. Legend type, right? All right. I don't know, I've been winning I have to be well over 60% win rate with this deck. I should be able to keep climbing for a little bit. Seems like at the MMR I'm at, it's still doing really well. All right, let's just go back in, see how, see how high we can climb here. Um, Watches. Uh, this deck does really well against the Druid deck. Um, you have Holy Nova to deal with the early Treants, and then it just snowballs so quickly that by the time they can do any of the bigger swing turns, they're already dead. Um, yeah, the, the strongest matchups for this deck are like Druid, any Druid, any Demon Hunter, and then the face hunter or dragon hunter, uh, this it does really solid against those decks. Um, Highlander hunter is more of a toss up, and I think this deck also does pretty well against warrior from what I've seen. That match went well, and felt like he even got a lot of what, like the key pieces he would have wanted, and still wasn't able to hold it off. The bad matchups are like Priest and Mage, uh, Rogue. I'm glad that Rogue's kind of out of the meta, strangely. Because um, Ro Rogue was pretty tough for this deck. Wow, he that was very generous of him to throw all of his minions away.
Oh, I feel like Highlander decks are really strong. Uh, what What do you mean a bit? Yeah, Warlock's gone. Oh, Warlock's good against this deck, too. <laughs> I'm glad that Warlock's not more of a thing. Feeling pretty good about where this game is going. This combo here is also really solid. Can't afford to play around whatever secret this is. I need to keep pushing. Yeah, not worried about that. Don't think I need to protect my health. I think I need to protect the minions. Oof, that was unlucky for him. Pretty sure he's dead. Oh no! Zephyrus is brutal. Uh, we still might be able to close this game out though. Ooh, freeze. He didn't go with the kill all five attack or more minions. I think that's a mistake. So I could Psyche split one of these guys, which does make a lot of sense. Um, but the menu would be frozen, I wouldn't be able to use them next turn, and I'm hoping that I can just close this game out. So instead... <laughs> yeah, BM, BM too soon. Uh... I don't think it matters too much, but I'll go face. Cool, good win. Wow, I gained nine ranks off of that. It's going to be a tough climb from here, huh?